up you guys welcome back to another one if you were new to the channel I am gold penny I do new car truck SUV reviews on YouTube and today we are in the all-new 2022 Genesis GV 70 courtesy of Genesis of York in York PA for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below I am ridiculously excited to be in this one today this is an all-new entry-level SUV from Genesis similar styling to the rest of the lineup of course including the larger GV80 as well of course it also comes with America's best warranty being five year 60,000 mile bumper to bumper 10 year 100,000 miles on the powertrain three years of complimentary maintenance as well that's definitely a good selling point and you get the Genesis experience which essentially means you never actually have to go to a dealership they will actually come to your home come to your work pick up your vehicle drop you off a loaner do whatever they need to do and then give you your vehicle back to wherever you are so that is definitely a very cool feature in itself as well and so in this video i will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to paddle shifters braking steering wheel ride quality sound system exhaust clip all of that fun stuff so having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so as you can imagine there are several different configurations you can go with for the 2022 gv70 first one is going to be the 2.5 turbo all-wheel drive that one starts at forty-one thousand dollars even however there are a few different package options that can tack on to that price including the select package which adds an additional four thousand dollars advanced package which adds eight thousand one hundred and fifty and sport prestige which adds eleven thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars to that first engine configuration but then there is the 3.5 liter twin turbo all-wheel drive which is the one we have today that one starts at 52,600 then you have the sport advance which tax on five thousand dollars and the sport prestige which specifically is what we have here which tax on nine thousand nine hundred dollars but so like I said with the configurations there are actually two different engine setups for the GV70 first one is that 2.5 liter turbocharged inline four-cylinder putting out 300 horsepower at 5800 rpm 311 pound-feet of torque coming in at right around 1600 rpm power sent to all wheels this is an all-wheel drive setup only for the GV70 through an eight-speed automatic with paddle shifters which you guys know we will test out in a little bit here 0 to 60 approximately six seconds flat with MPG numbers coming in at 22 in the city 28 on the highway taking premium unleaded fuel but so then we have the other engine configuration being the one we have today being a 3.5 liter twin turbo v6 375 horsepower at 5800 rpm 391 pound feet of torque coming in at 1300 rpm again power sent to all wheels through an eight speed automatic with paddle shifters zero to 60 time according to genesis comes in at 4.9 seconds that's pretty crazy quick so i'm excited to test that out in a little bit here but mpg numbers for this engine configuration 19 in the city 25 on the highway again taking premium unleaded fuel but so before we do any kind of fun acceleration or paddle shifter test here in our gv70 i did want to mention the drive modes of course that drive mode button is located in front of the circular shifter and all of those buttons there but they will include eco comfort sport custom and there is a sport plus driving mode if you were to go with the sport package so therefore we actually do have that one today but there's also some different terrain modes actually as well including snow sand and mud terrain modes but ultimately all of these modes will adjust things like the shift points the throttle response the steering sensitivity the braking and the suspension settings actually as well so quite a bit a little bit more than i'm used to so that's pretty cool but oh yeah one more thing the actual gauge cluster is going to differ as well when you change those drive modes and that is perhaps my favorite part about the gv70 we'll get into the 3d gauges in a little bit here but let's go ahead and find it straight away now let's put this thing to the test let's uh let's first test out the paddle shifters here i just want to see how quickly they are going to react for us here all right you guys we're in first gear let's see if we can get set up here on the main road in three two one paddle shifter test wow good good wow they're actually kind of quick Usually with SUVs, you don't get those quick reacting paddle shifters, but Genesis did a pretty dang good job with the GV70. I will say that. And another thing, when I was waiting to actually get onto that main road, it was not shifting for me either. It's another thing I look for when I test out paddle shifters to have actually full control when it's in that paddle shifter mode. So that's definitely a good thing. Acceleration test, here we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Yeah, this thing is just launching. That was crazy. <laughs> this is a ridiculous 
acceleration for an SUV. And this small SUV definitely has plenty get up and go. Zero to 60 in 4.9, under five seconds is pretty dang impressive, you guys. And the twin turbo V6 is gonna do that for you, of course. But that was pretty darn cool. But anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. And so as expected, you will find four wheel ventilated disc brakes, but also monoblock front brakes coming standard on this one as well let me tell you a little bit more about that made from one piece of material of course meaning mono and these brakes are stronger of course than your typical brakes more resistant to flex and an improved braking feel and pad wear with monoblock brakes as well and speaking of let's go ahead and just hit the brakes a little bit here to see what the actual braking feel is like it's great actually there's no dead spots there's no brake pedal delay and it immediately brought me to a stop here so once again, Genesis, well done, you're killing it. Anyway, now let's go ahead and touch on suspension and handling a little bit. Of course, you will find a four wheel independent suspension, also an electronically controlled suspension with road preview, which essentially is Genesis's version of an adaptive suspension. It actually uses a camera system to scan the road in front of you and detect any kind of road imperfections to kind of balance that out to give you a smoother ride. So that's a pretty cool system there. Also, if you were to go with the Sport Prestige that we do indeed have here today, you will also get an electronic limited slip differential, essentially sending torque to the rear wheel with the most traction, giving you not only a better acceleration, but better handling around the turns as we are doing right now as well. So that is definitely a big old plus and a big old performance feature for this small SUV there as well. And overall ride quality, that is probably the first thing I noticed. This is a ridiculously smooth ride. Immediately when I started driving this one, I noticed how smooth of a ride it was. So definitely a very nice setup for the GV70 when it comes to that. As far as steering feel goes, that's probably the second thing I noticed. I've driven so many cars at this point, you guys. These things mean a lot to me, believe it or not. So noticeably heavier steering feel than I'm used to with just about all other Hyundai and Genesis products out there right now. So a very nice weight to the steering, especially in this sport driving mode that I have it in right now. And again, that weight can differ slightly depending upon which driving mode that you put it in, but in sport, and even when you don't put it in sport, it's still a very nice feel to the steering. So I'll definitely say that as well. As far as cabin noise goes, that is as expected for any luxury SUV. It is a very serene cabin on the inside here. So I love that. And that is due in part because this one does come with an acoustic laminated front windshield and front door glass for all trim levels as well. You don't always get that. So I do want to emphasize that even on luxury manufacturers, you don't always get that. So that's pretty cool. And touching on visibility, I can see great out the back. Visibility is absolutely 100% on point in the GV70. Also rain sensing windshield wipers do come standard on this one as well. So essentially what that is kind of like automatic headlights. It's just whenever the GV70 detects any kind of mist or rainfall, it's going to automatically turn on those windshield wipers as it has already for me in my drive today. So that's just one less thing you got to worry about. So that's pretty darn cool as well. Also, with the sport prestige that we have today we have a head-up display specifically for that package giving me my speed as well as the speed limit and some safety features displayed up on my windshield to better help me keep my eyes on the road that's always a good thing and with the sport advanced package and up you will get a blind spot monitor as well so when I turn on my turn signal it's going to show me what is in my blind spot up on the digital gauges here so that is pretty darn cool there as well but that about rounds out the performance segment of this review, guys. Let's now go ahead and find a cool spot. And let's now take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2022 Genesis GV70. All right, and so here she is, you guys. The new 2022 Genesis GV70 finished in uni white. In case anybody was curious of our exterior color name. But let's go ahead and start up front on this one. Of course, front and center, you have that large aluminum front grille. Then, of course, to the sides, you have front air curtains helping direct air around the wheel and tire combination, as just about all cars have these days. But to the sides, the headlights are what really impressed me and really what distinguished itself from every vehicle out there on the road right now led quad headlights come standard for every single configuration of the gv70 they of course come with the automatic feature as well meaning when it starts to get dark at night those headlights will turn on automatically for you there led daytime running lights also coming standard automatic high beams also coming standard as well meaning whenever the gv70 detects any kind of darkness coming it will automatically turn on those headlights for you so essentially it's just one less thing you got to worry about there it's pretty nice and as far as that front lip goes i wanted to mention this to you guys 
guys because it's either going to be one of two options it's either a satin aluminum front lip or a gloss black front lip which is currently what we have so typically the way that works is with the sport trim levels it's going to be gloss black otherwise it is going to be satin aluminum so i just wanted to mention that to you guys but that pretty much rounds out the front let's go ahead and make our way now to the side of the gv70 all right so once again i have climbed into the woods for you guys here but let's go ahead and take a look at the side roof rails do come standard across the board once again they're either going to be finished in satin aluminum or gloss black like you guys are currently looking at right now rear privacy glass does come standard as well also very interesting element to the c pillar in the back here interesting design element i should say so it's kind of a different design a unique design that you don't usually see on other vehicles out there so i did think that was pretty cool as well again with the windows it's either going to be finished in satin aluminum or gloss black window surround so i wanted to mention that body colored side skirts that's always a little pet peeve of mine i'm not a big fan of the matte black side skirts but i do love that the gv70 does get body colored side skirts so definitely a very high-end look to it in my personal opinion then take a look at the side mirrors they are body colored power adjustable side mirrors they will be heated with led integrated turn signals that will be auto folding and they also do come with puddle lights with the genesis logo illuminated onto the ground then as well which is pretty darn cool at night but then take a look at the wheel setup 18 inch alloy wheels with the 2.5 t 19 inch alloys for the 2.5 select 2.5 advanced and 3.5 and then 21 inch alloys like you guys are currently looking at for the 2.5 sport prestige and the 3.5 sport prestige as well and you gotta love the design of these 21 inch alloy wheels as well they're like nothing else on the road right now it's like little indentations within the five spokes there so it's a pretty darn cool look but now pretty much rounds out this side let's now go ahead and make our way to the back of this one all right so now since we are around back of the gv70 body colored shark fin antenna all the way to the top there just below that rear spoiler with an integrated brake light just below that rear window wiper genesis lettering of course spelled out horizontally there and perhaps my favorite design element look at these taillights they are so stinking cool looking led taillights coming standard for every single configuration of this one and they are very elongated wrapping around the side very cool look to them without a doubt but yet another very cool design element of the gv70 can be found just below and so this rear bumper is pretty darn cool and it is going to differ slightly i will say that amongst the configurations but as far as the exhaust outlets go though twin trapezoidal exhaust outlets found in the rear bumper if you go with the 2.5 setup however you will get twin circular large chrome exhaust outlets integrated into the rear bumper if you go with the 3.5 and once more there's something i did not mention to you guys previously since we have a sport trim level that sport plus driving mode is going to adjust the exhaust note as well so i'll show you guys the difference here and i do believe you guys know what we have to do next then as always here is that exhaust clip All right, so now since we are around back of the GV70, when it comes to opening that rear tailgate, power tailgate does come standard on this one for every single configuration. Also, a hands-free power tailgate, so if your hands are full, you don't have to worry about that little setup there. There's also actually a button in the back. It's not on the tailgate itself. It's actually on the bottom portion of the rear window wiper, believe it or not. So it's a slightly different configuration than most other SUVs out there, but that's how you're gonna go ahead and open that one up there. Also, we button by the driver's side left knee, but nonetheless, once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 28.9 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, there actually are some levers in that cargo area. You can fold that down. There is a 60-40 split, bumping that up to 56.9 cubic feet. Also, LED cargo lighting found back there as well. I definitely love that. There are plenty of grocery bag hooks. There's tie-down anchors. There's actually a little bit of in-floor storage back there as well. There is an available cargo cover and a 12-volt power outlet then back there as well and there's a little bit of netting a little bit of cargo netting storage on the sides there too so overall pretty much everything you could possibly want in the cargo area of an suv but now let's go ahead and make our way up to the rear legroom that is going to come in at 37.2 inches so for reference 
I'm an even six feet tall. This is how much space I had sitting in the back seats there. Rear center armrest with cup holders, of course, does come standard. Rear ventilation as well. Actually, tri-zone climate control is available on this one, meaning the rear passengers can actually set their own temperatures back there, which is pretty cool. As far as the charging ports go, Genesis actually went above and beyond here. There are two USB charging ports, which are great if you have two kids up there that want to keep their tablets charged up. But also, a 120 volt power outlet back there as well, which I was very surprised to see. So that was pretty cool. Heated rear seats coming with the 3.5 Sport Prestige that we have today. So you could spoil the rear passengers a little bit there. Also, rear window sunshades. It's one of my favorite features, especially if you have a newborn, you're driving home from the hospital. You don't want that sun baking in the rise. So rear window sunshades, the real ones that come from the manufacturer, not the cheap ones you could buy at Walmart because they don't always work. These are the ones that you want. So definitely very impressive for the rear passengers overall. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the front seats of the GV70. And so as far as the standard configuration up front, 12-way power adjustable driver's seat does come standard. Leatherette finish coming standard with heated front seats. So that is pretty good. Leather seating coming with the 2.5 advanced trim level and up really. Leather seating with a mesh insert coming with the 2.5 Sport Prestige and 3.5 Sport. Quilted Napa leather coming with a 3.5 Sport Advanced and Napa leather and suede coming with the 3.5 Sport Prestige with the red accenting. That is currently what we have today in case anybody was curious. But overall with the lumbar support on these GV70 seats, incredibly comfortable. I could very easily see myself going on a trip to Ocean City, Maryland in the GV70 because these seats are ridiculously comfortable, mostly thanks to the very adjustable lumbar support found in the GV70. So I love that. But now let's go ahead and take a look at the steering wheel here. And so of course it is tilt and telescoping. It is power adjustable. It is leather wrapped. Then, if you were to go with the 3.5 Sport Advanced or 3.5 Sport Prestige, it then will be heated as well. But now, let's go ahead and make our way to the startup. Let me start by showing you guys the key. And by the way, this is a very cool key, and I'll show you why here in a second. Genesis logo on the one side. When you flip it over, you have pretty much everything you could possibly want. Lock, unlock that button to pop the rear hatch. The circular hold button, that is going to be a remote start, and that is going to come on the 2.5 Advanced trim level and up. Push button start, of course, is standard across the board. Digital key is coming with the advanced and prestige trim levels. And of course, we also have parking assist, or as Hyundai calls it, Smart Pack. This is a very cool feature. And so essentially, as long as the vehicle is locked and you use that remote start button, you can then use this feature to actually pull your vehicle in or out of a parking spot, I guess, if you wanted to. If the other vehicles to your side are a little bit too close, maybe you got kids, you wanna open the door a little bit wider. I don't know. It's a pretty cool feature though. All right. So next let's make our way to the gauges, which quite honestly may be my very favorite part of the GV70. Here's why. Eight inch digital cage cluster coming with the sport. Okay. But 12.3 inch 3D digital gauge cluster coming with the 2.5 sport prestige and 3.5 sport prestige. And so this gauge cluster has been in Korea for a while now. I think this is the first time though, they have finally brought it here to the US. And let me tell you guys, it is amazing. I've never seen this gauge cluster on any other vehicle I've tested here in the US to date. And quite honestly, this is my new favorite because it is 3D. It is such a cool look. Not only that, you can actually adjust the look of the gauges when you adjust the driving mode. So for example, if I put it in sport, you're gonna get a lot of gray and red hues. If I were to put it back to comfort, it's a lot of kind of cyan kind of colors and gray. And then if I were to put it in eco, it is more of a blue look and a completely different look. So really, it completely changes depending upon the driving mode that you put it in. And again, my favorite part of it is that it is 3D. No other gauges I've ever seen have been 3D, and this is a wonderful look. So, of course, you can adjust what is on there by using the steering wheel mounted controls on the right side, trip A, trip B, outside temperature. When you need your next oil change, the list goes on to quite a bit. You could check out up there, and quite honestly, my favorite gauge cluster to date, let me tell you. But anyways, let's go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality. Panoramic sunroof coming standard for all trim levels. Suede headliner, I love that we have that here today with the Sport Advanced and Sport Prestige. Overhead sunglasses holder also coming standard up top there wireless phone charger coming standard every single configuration gotta love that as well carbon trim coming with the sport layered edge backlit trim coming with the sport advanced real carbon fiber trim coming with the sport prestige this isn't the fake stuff this is real carbon fiber trim so you gotta love that 
Ambient lighting, I love that as well. And I love the placement of it. It's in the doors. It's around all the climate control information. It's on the passenger side of this center cluster here. I absolutely love that. Overall, ambient lighting looks absolutely amazing in this thing. And overall, the finishes, the quality, all of this found on the doors here, it's all very soft touch. You got authentic carbon fiber trim. You even have LED lighting located within the passenger side glove box. You never find that. That is absolutely amazing. All of this is soft touch material above the passenger side glove box. There is red contrast stitching. I love the vent that kind of continues the silver trim onto the doors as well. It's just an insanely nice interior quality and again the suede headliner i've always loved that i feel like i'm in a lamborghini with that it's absolutely amazing i love the center portion of the steering wheel with the red contrast stitching and the genesis logo as well anyways just in front of the cup holders you have two more usb charging ports that is pretty cool and that's actually where you're going to find your wireless phone charger again standard for all configurations and of course just behind that you have dual cup holders within the center armrest you have a 12 volt power outlet and a decent amount of storage within there but again Overall, I cannot fault this interior at all. It is absolutely wonderful, quite honestly. But now, it continues to get better because check out this infotainment screen. It is a 14.5 inch color touchscreen display. Let me tell you guys, I just drove a Maserati maybe a couple weeks ago that had, I think, an 8.5 inch color touchscreen display. This is a 14.5 inch screen. This is wonderful. Bluetooth and audio streaming coming standard. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. And by the way, you can control it using the circular dial just in front of the shifter as well if you did not want to use the touchscreen. So you do have options there, by the way. And actually, factory navigation system also coming standard on this one. There's a voice memo system that is pretty darn cool as well. There's climate control information up there. There's something called quiet mode where it cancels out the rear speakers. If perhaps the kids in the back are sleeping, you still want to listen to music. It limits the volume to, I believe, seven up front. So that is a pretty cool feature as well. And again, that's called quiet mode. There's also perhaps my favorite feature sounds of nature and so once again let me just let you guys listen to those sounds real quick So in addition to that, you do have your traditional radio information you can access up there. And by the way, there are a couple different sound systems. Six speakers is going to be the standard configuration, of course. But if you were to go with the Sport Advanced trim level and up, you will get an 18 speaker Lexicon sound system. That's a ton of speakers. Let me tell you guys. But anyways, do believe you guys know what we have to do next. Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today. And let's test out the clarity of this one. <laughs> I don't get this often, but it's another one of those situations where I did not want to actually turn it off. The clarity with 18 speakers, I guess it's expected, but the clarity was ridiculous. Like I haven't heard a sound system that clear in quite a while, maybe since Bowers and Wilkins. That's still my favorite sound system, but that was a ridiculous sound system. Super clear, ton of bass, nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Wonderful sound system for the GV70. But last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on that infotainment screen is when you do put the GV70 in reverse, of course, we'll find a rear view camera coming standard across the board. And not only that, for the Sport Advanced trim level and up, it's actually also going to give you a surround view monitor just next to that, giving you a bird's eye view essentially of everything around you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so to start, front side side current airbags do come standard, driver's knee airbag. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also coming standard across the board is going to be forward collision avoidance assist, lane following assist, blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert, adaptive cruise control with stop and go, driver attention warning system, high beam assist, and safe exit assist as well. And then if you were to go with the sport advantage trim level and up you're also going to get parking collision avoidance assist then as well and so overall when it comes to my final thoughts here of the gv70 3d digital gauges are my favorite feature i've never seen anything like it they are absolutely amazing and i would buy this suv just for that feature alone quite honestly genesis keep that put on on every other vehicle because that is wonderful styling is great on this one safety is great twin turbo v6 is a beast tech is great this aqua marine blue interior color that we have here in this one is absolutely great as well yeah ambient lighting is great as far as room for improvement goes 
I don't know. The, the seat belts are red. I wanted them to be blue. I, I don't know. I'm really, I don't have anything. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. That is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love this one. Make sure you follow me on TikTok so you can actually see these vehicles before they actually get to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button. If you're into new car reviews, that is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Ooh, stay gold.